this is just so low budget production. Uh, let me see if I can get this. Uh, let's hold it still for a minute. Uh, let's go. Oh, uh, e, e, e. Okay, that's my chart. Okay. So I just give you an idea of like what it looks like. Okay. I'm a Leo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I have Sun conjunct Pluto, which, and since Pluto is like obsessive and intense, and your Sun sign is like your ego vehicle, you drive around with your your Sun sign saying, "I'm a Leo." But you know, it's like there's more uh, to your sign than your Sun sign. Okay. Like I said, I have Pluto conjunct Leo, which means. Uh, I have a tendency to get like really obsessed about something. I get really, it's like um, some kind, and sometimes it's just a little bit too much. But I have a lot of other planets. Everybody has other planets uh, and other luminaries. Like the sun is a luminary, a moon, the moon is a luminary. Okay, so we have we have sun, moon, Mercury, Venus, Mars. Those are the those are the personal planets. So it's like oh, this is my individual. Those are also like fairly, you know, quicker moving planets and they, and they change and so that's how within a generations you have like a little bit of variety. Okay, so then we have Jupiter. Jupiter changes uh, once a year. Then we have Saturn. Saturn is like uh, two and a half years. Okay, it changes. Okay, then uh, after Saturn is uh, Uranus. Uranus is um, seven years. Changes every seven years. Ah, roughly, you know. And then um, uh, Oh no, after Jupiter, we, oh yeah, Saturn is, Saturn is two years, Uranus is seven, uh, Neptune is 14 years, and then Pluto, which they say is not a planet, but still, within astrology, you know, they didn't ask us how we felt about it, but uh, Pluto could be like anywhere between 12 and 36 years because it has this like really weird kind of elliptical orbit, so it goes, it goes, 12 years, 12 years, 12 years, 36, 36, 36, 36, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 36, 36. So, the people who are on the edges of the uh, elliptical orbit of Pluto, uh, who are 12 years, like, they're around 12 years, 12, 13 years, uh, for the cycle, um, they're going through changes earlier, they're going through certain astrological changes earlier in their life than other generations who had these, like, longer cycles. So they may be going through things at, at like uh, 40 and 50 that other people had to wait till they're 60 and 70 go through. So that's kind of weird right there. But anyway, so, and then we have our rising sign. People say, oh, what's my ascendant? It, 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 it's really easy. Listen, the chart is like, uh, the chart is like daytime, nighttime. Okay. And what's at, uh, what would be considered, I'm from your side, what would be considered uh, nine o'clock on the face of a clock right here that's the eastern horizon okay whatever was coming up over the horizon when you were born that's your rising sun okay it's not hard now people who are born at dawn have the sun rising okay so their sun and their rising sign will be the same easy barbet um, people who are born with their sun and their moon and opposite signs, let's say, oh, I knew this guy who was, he was an Aquarius with a Leo moon. I say, pity, pity, pity. Now, pity means pain in the ass. So, after a while, you get used to my, my shorthand. Pity, pity, pity this guy. Okay? But anyway, he was born on a full moon. Right? Because the sun and moon have to be opposite to be a full moon. And so if someone says, oh, I'm an Aquarius with a Leo moon, I go, oh, full moon baby, oh, please. <laughs> it's like, go take your, your weird, you know, uh, conscious and uh, subconscious uh, oppositions uh, and uh, deal with those issues with somebody else who has more patience than I do with it. Or once he said, and you'll probably agree, you talk too fast. Anyway, I looked at my gay friend and I went, and we both thought, he thinks too slow. So anyway, so uh, just to give you a little idea, like my chart, so I have a lot of earth in my chart. 
I have um, Capricorn rising, which is Earth. Jupiter and Capricorn in the first house. Jupiter, in the first, Jupiter is expansive. Jupiter in the first house, first house your body. I get fat. I have like this like accordion body where I gain weight, lose weight. I have other planets in Virgo. Uh, I have Mercury and Saturn in Virgo. Mercury is like your five senses and your intellect, and Saturn is how you work, and Virgo is like nitpicky and detail oriented and likes to be analytical. And so having them together is like, oh, I eat details with milk and sugar in the morning with a spoon. You know, and then my girlfriend, my girlfriend Jen at the Astrological Society, and she goes, and yeah, she follows it up with a chaser of logic. You know, and then I have Venus in Virgo. And Venus in Virgo is, you know, it's like, if you love me, buy me a mop. You know, if you love me, buy me something practical, because Virgo's really practical. And if I love you, I will serve you. And so this is my hope uh, with this YouTube channel that I may serve you. Because, you know, I, I watch a lot of other astrologers on YouTube. And, oh, they're nice, and they're spiritual, and they're, you know, hug a tree, and sit on a pyramid, and stick a crystal in your third eye, and, you know, not everybody's like that. Not everybody can handle that. I mean, I'm from California. I have a hard time handling it. I go, oh my god, I just, like, I can't do this anymore. I want to provide a, a, a YouTube channel that talks about astrology, but it's like, come on, look at, look at my face. It's like, I didn't clean up for you. I didn't dress up for you. You know, I didn't put on my makeup. I don't expect you to, like, get dressed up in a suit and a tie or put on your makeup to watch my videos. I also am not going to blow smoke up your ass either. Okay? I'll tell you how I see it in terms that just about everybody can comprehend. Okay? I'll talk about some advanced things. I'll talk about some beginning things. But if you stick it out, you'll learn something. And hopefully... Hopefully, if you want to learn something about yourself, or if you're a Scorpio and you want to learn something about your girlfriend or boyfriend, because you like to read other people's mail, but you don't like to have your mail read, get in touch with me, okay? You know, throw this grandma a bone here, all right? Because I'm doing charts, I'm doing charts professionally, and if you want to have an astrologer who's like a real person who will talk to you in real terms, I'm your girl, okay? So uh, that's it, and then uh, let's see how this came out.